Hi guys, how you doing guys and gals? This beautiful day coming up here. Can you see it? Sunrise here in Pembroke Pines, Florida. I'm charging the car, getting ready to go home. Just got in from Sao Paulo, Brazil on a flight and I'm tired, but I wanna tell you about a couple things. Let me just open the truck here. That uh, if you've been following, I've been uh, having a little problem with uh, trying to get my colon back on track after taking a heavy duty amount of um, antibiotics after I did my procedure with a nano knife to uh, get the last little bit of cancer gone um, and that worked however they put me on antibiotics just in case there was any kind of infection irritation something going on with uh, my colon and that didn't happen but the antibiotics really just took all the you know my gut biome and uh, zeroed it out so and I know this kind of thing takes a while to get your, your gut biome, you know, the nice flora in your gut, to get back up to where it should be. And the reason I wanted this for me to have my gut biome back in my flora, you know, and everything uh, in order is because it's a big part of your immune system. And we're so finding so much out about the gut and how it, you know, interacts and they I've heard it called the second brain. I just think that's beautiful out there. Not sure what that was. A motorcycle without a muffler, probably. But anyway, let me show you this stuff here. It's um, Terra Origins Healthy Gut Peach Banana Flavor. I know it sounds kind of strange. The reason I got peach banana flavor, you may wonder. If I like peach banana or what's going on right is because that's the one that I could get overnight on Amazon that flavor the other flavors which are you know more popular and, um, like tutti frutti and that kind of thing those were like five to seven days shipping and I go no I want this stuff right now because I wanted to take it on this trip and also I wanted to start using it right away the the problem or the um, the discussion came about on uh, Twitter. I posted that my colon was, I felt my colon was inflamed. And, and why did I think that? I thought it because, um, uh, you guys know that I, I, for me anyway, I stopped eating around 3 p.m. And the reason I do this is because it allows the small intestine to empty out totally and you know you don't have anything going on when you go to sleep right you don't have like insulin spikes or anything digesting when you are um you know when you stop eating around 3 p.m there's a good look at it and uh i'll post a link in the description or uh, somewhere you can find it so you can buy it too just or go to amazon and just you know look for this uh, Terra Origin Healthy Gut. I highly recommend this stuff, and I'll tell you why. Good stuff, yeah. But on Twitter, I had posted that my colon was inflamed, and I thought, you know, this is um, this is something I really got to take care of. The reason I felt it was inflamed was because I uh, had. You know how I stop eating around 3 p.m. because I want my small intestine to empty out, not have anything in the intestine, the small intestine when I go to bed, so I don't have any insulin stuff going on at night, and this allows the body to do the repairs it needs to do while you're sleeping, as that's you know that's what your body wants to do, as it should. So that's my kind of you know thing. I stop eating around 3 p.m. and then I can have a nice restful sleep, and I know that the stuff that's supposed to be going on is going on okay so after 9 p.m 10 p.m you know like depending on when i ate like six hours later i'd have these pains going on like when the food left the small intestine went into the large intestine the colon 
and uh, you know did its work there and it just I mean every single thing I ate hurt almost everything you know I mean a lot of times I would eat like probiotic stuff you know like yogurt or kefir that I've started using too and that didn't hurt too much you know but anything else I mean you know my 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 carnivore diet my meat diet or you know even uh, little things that I like to eat that are within my uh, clinical ketogenic diet that I'm doing uh, just man the pain was just like off the charts so I figured okay <clears throat> everything else in my colon my gut area feels good except when it gets there you know it's really painful and that's the area that uh, was you know in question when I did my procedure with the with the nano knife because uh, it was so close to the colon I don't think anything happened I really don't as far as getting um, you know uh, any kind of infections going on because my my blood work did not show it I always showed that I had uh, you know really good blood work everything was going okay <clears throat> that I didn't uh, need any antibiotics other than the ones that uh, uh, I was initially given and you know that's the one that I guarantee you that I took out my my all my probiotics in my gut and that's the reason I think it became inflamed I'm not sure exactly why um, how I mistreated it to such an extent that it would do that but I knew that I had to have find something that you know that would clear it up so the discussion on Twitter got to the point where you should try glutamine L glutamine is something that's very very nice to the gut it helps leaky gut it helps uh, irritable bowel syndrome it helps all kinds of gut stuff and the more I researched it, the more happier I got. And then I got a direct message from a couple of people that said, if you've had cancer, no way should you, you should be taking glutamine. And so I thought back to when I first got the disease and the research I was doing on it. And sure enough, you know, I thought, yeah, I'd done some studies on glutamine and whether or not it would be good to supplement glutamine. And I found a couple studies that were like, you know, not really positive and not really uh, convincing that it would do something bad. But at the same time, they didn't say, you know, it was like inconclusive type study. But then I thought, you know, anything like that in my early studies, I would usually throw away. It would just go, you know, this is off the charts, don't need to be in my diet. So I would um, not have that on my menu and not, not take glutamine. But then when this guy DM'd me, you know, direct messaged me and the other person as well, uh, I started researching again, said, okay, what are the latest studies on glutamine, supplemental glutamine, and people that have cancer or tumor or any kind of studies that have been done. And come to find out that the research is really good as far as um, stopping or slowing or even making tumor growth go you know go the other way where it's not growing it's like actually shrinking and i thought man that's crazy how does that happen because glutamine is you know it's one of the processes that the cancer cell uses to grow is through a glutamine process and you know i take glutamine inhibitors and i you know don't eat much stuff that has glutamine naturally in it but Come to find out, if it's supplemental, there is a different outcome. And the outcome was that, um, you know, it's actually good for your gut, good for your body, and can really help you get, you know, back on track and it won't mess with your cancer cells. Okay, so um, then I ran it by, I know, a couple of people that helped me with research. And, um, you know, one of them came back uh, the next day and said, you know, yeah, sure enough, it wouldn't hurt you to take, you know, five to 10 grams of glutamine a day. And, you know, along with some other stuff, he mentioned fiber, which uh, I, I had just also had just purchased some, is it psyllium husk? Is that how you say that? You know, and I'm telling you, I've taken this like a couple times now and it's a miracle worker. I mean, it really does a nice job. <laughs> 
So anyway, it says I got five minutes to continue on the charger here, so I gotta wrap this up real quick. But anyway, this product is super good because it not only has the L-glutamine, like five grams of it, but it also has, I'll show you here. So here's what it has in it per serving, which is one scoop, it has these scoops in it, you put it like in six ounces of water and you're off to the races, right? It has zinc and copper, which are really good friends of mine because these two minerals really helped me over the hurdle with hyper uh, thyroidism that I had at one time. I had a problem with that, which was related to my celiac disease, which is a totally other story that I got from having a horrible reaction to antibiotics. Yes, hello. And look what this stuff has in it, though. Not only does it have the five grams of um, the glutamine, L-glutamine, but it also has slippery elm bark, marshmallow root powder, has the licorice root, um, quercetin it has in there, also an aloe vera leaf extract. So, you know, you got a lot of stuff that is very, very good for your gut in here, and that's about all it has in it. I mean, it doesn't have much any other, you know, many other ingredients in it. And I'm telling you. Turn right onto Pines Boulevard. Okay, so now it's telling me we've got enough enough to charge there. Filled my tank up. Don't get mad for seven bucks here, so. <laughs> but anyway, gotta get going because um gotta get home. But um I've done like three of these so far, right? Three of the drinks, and that's like fifteen milligrams or fifteen grams rather of um of L glutamine. And uh, gosh, I'm telling you, it's like night and day already. As, as far as uh, um, the pains that I used to have in my gut. And uh, you know what we got going now? Hello, there you go. So, to me, it was well worth talking about L-glutamine on Twitter with people that got me to study and got me to you know find out how this stuff could really help me and it did you know that along I think with the fiber which helps um, your gut tremendously and helps build um, short chain uh, uh, amino acids down in there that uh, are very much needed to regrow the the uh, your gut flora that you need for your immunity all right so look into that product if you have any kind of a gut problem um as far as the research is out i don't believe i'm not a doctor but you know i'm just telling you what i did and it really helped my my gut and you know from here on out i think the, the gut biome is just going to kind of come back and i'm going to have a really good immune system with that all right time to hit the road we'll talk to you guys later